Thanks to you, Carlos. Just a very brief thought on our uh, readings and the Gospel. Prophet Elijah could not find God in big signs like the earthquake or in the fire. He could find him only in the gentlest presence, in the gentle breathe, when the, when the breathe is just about to emerge. Actually, this was such a, such a quiet uh, event uh, that when we have a tree or a bush in the garden and the gentlest breathe is just about to move the leaves, they are not making any noise yet, they are just about to move. God is present, was present to him in such a gentle way. Uh, Prophet Elijah, just as we, need to be decentered because people are lost in their anxieties and problems and concerns just as Prophet Elijah was deeply lost. So we need to be led out from where we are to be centered on God's gentle and most inspiring presence. Today as we celebrate the Ugandan martyrs we can see the same happening in the life of the martyrs. They are in the utmost trouble, they face death and earthly destruction, yet their heart finds its living center. They praise and glorify God and they give their life in the sure hope that they are going to be with their Lord. So when we celebrate the martyrs, when the liturgy is read, it's always a reminder that we have to be united with our vivifying center, the burning love of God. Let us receive today's communion as a continuation of this journey back to our center. Let us be united this morning with our Lord, let us enjoy his friendship and let his thinking, his clarity of mind, his purity and vitality of heart and thoughts be our guide throughout this day. Amen. Amen.